button and all of a sudden the screen just dropped off and I realized that the last few minutes I haven't been on. What time is it? Oh, 7.12. Hi, I'm Nettie K. If you didn't know that already, um, thought I was streaming. Raise your hand if I was. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. Anyway, we started off with this black and white picture and uh, I don't know if you were with me the last 12 minutes. Oh God, I hate that. Anyway, what I've done is I put on a black and white painting, a nice glaze of orange color, okay? So now um, I'm putting on, this is transparent orange just to kind of make it nice and warm. I'm not gonna hit the top of that snow yet. So this was our uh, painting from last week. Now I'm feeling a little bit silly. I think I forgot to push my button. I did, you guys. All right. Hope you're still with me. Good Lord. Anyway, shout out uh, to, um, I've got a, a new gal from, is it Denmark? I think that is, or uh, yeah, Denmark or somewhere. And she's she's been watching a lot of my videos. And so uh, I appreciate that very, very much. So, okay. So this was black and white and gray underneath in acrylic when we started 15 minutes ago. All right, now I've got this nice yellow uh, glaze over the top. And again, what I'm talking about is this is kind of the color that Van Gogh would have used in his cafe painting. The cafe painting is, um, has uh, kind of this dark, beautiful, rich blues and this orange kind of paint to give the feeling of the glow of light. And so that's what we're doing. This is all a dark gray color, and I'm going to now glaze blue over the top of it. Wow. Recap, yes. Anyway, so that's what I'm doing. The Again, the, the stuff that I'm using is the Neo Neo Megelp from, oh, I'll, I'll turn it around just right for you. Neo Megelp, and that's a gel transparentizer. But the paint itself is quite transparent. It's quite transparent. And so uh, even if you don't have any medium, you can thin it down with maybe a little bit of um, odorless thinner. You could probably do that, and it would work as well. Okay, so now, now I'm going to come in with a clean brush right here. Okay, this is a clean, soft brush. Hope it's clean. I just stuck myself in the face with it. And now I'm going to come up and I'm going to put a little bit of that medium on my brush. And this time I'm going to take some of that really, really dark um, blue, which is uh, phthalo blue. And we're going to put that up here. Okay. So getting this glow, we've been in search of the glow for quite a while, haven't we? We have, we've been trying to figure out how to make things glow. And so when I think about opposite colors on the color wheel, I've got a little star up there. Uh, you, could, you could actually splash some stars on this. I'm going to do that in oil, but I could have done that in acrylic ahead of time. Or you can put your favorite constellation in the sky. I'm getting that into the white. That's okay. I'm going to take that, I'll wipe that off and paint over it. So now I've got this lovely atmosphere. I've got some atmosphere going on, which is uh, created by the layering of this uh, wonderful underpainting. Underpainting is like underwear, you know, just kind of a makes it much easier to put your clothes on and in the end you can just put this over the top and it, it just works better you know it just works better having something to glaze the color over the top wow that's awesome so here is again it's not this isn't rocket science it is just this uh, beautiful luminous color that that comes up and then you can add all kinds of things you know moons and stars and and fireworks that would be fun yeah that would be fun 
You can see my sound is just a little bit off. I apologize on that. Sometimes that has to do with our connection. At least we're connected. Yay. Okay, isn't that pretty? I like that. And I can get darker and darker if I want. And I can do a couple of layers of this, this transparent color. It's not, you know, it's not a big deal. So hi to all my students and my new ones. My ones, my new ones from Norway and Denmark and uh, um, Oregon. I've got some from Oregon and Idaho and Arizona. That might be a little shiny. Yeah, you can see it's really shiny. I polished a little bit of, I was doing a little experiment with gesso. And uh, I was using the uh, Dick Blick earlier. I was using some Dick Blick um, gesso. And I found, and I have no problems with Dick Blick. They're wonderful. But I did a little bit of an experiment with different gessos. And I discovered that my new favorite is uh, Liquitex. Okay, it, it comes in either jars or buckets. But one of the things that I did, because you, you know you don't want to have your paint just soak up uh, into the canvas, and so this is a, uh, a Dick Blick canvas, and I love the canvas, except for that it needed a couple of layers of gesso in addition to what it already had. And so um, I used the Liquitex on it and uh, Liquitex Gesso, and it really is making a nice difference. It makes the paint sit on it much, much better. And then the painting, the acrylic painting underneath, big secret here, I used the, uh, the Liquitex Gesso as my white and then mixed a little bit of the um, black a little black liquid paint into it like you know the three flowing stuff that you use for for flow paintings i gotta look and see oh here it is okay so i had this one it's called pre-mixed pouring acrylic but you can just kind of dilute it down if you want i put that on there but the acrylic the just the gesso part on the bottom underneath uh, I tried using, I let it dry just a little bit, and then I tried putting, uh, polishing it out with a piece of cellophane. And the jury's still out. This is area up here has got a really smooth section on it because I polished it as it was drying with a hair dryer and a piece of cellophane. I don't know, maybe we'll do a lesson on that if it works, if it doesn't cause problems with my paint. So, all right, nice dark blue. Ooh, yummy, yummy, yummy. That's awesome. Now, if I wanted to have a little bit of an interesting part of that sky, hopefully it's not so shiny. You can't, oh, look how shiny that is. Oh my gosh. And I can put in a little bit of, I can't even see that. I can put in a little bit of this, that, and the other thing. Here's a little bit of turquoise. I'm going to take this light down and see if that works. Nope, it's not any better. All right, ooh, now it's dark. I'm gonna flip this a little because I can really tell it's super shiny. Let's try it. I think we moved it so it wouldn't glare on my glasses. This is a giant box lamp and it really is messing up what I'm doing here. Well, that's a little better, but still that one corner is a little bit too shiny. Okay, so here is a little bit of that teal I'm playing around with giving it a little bit of a a feeling of almost that that uh, cafe <laughs> cafe drapery. So anyway, I think my polishing of the gesso is not a good idea because if it gets too shiny, you end up with your paint not being able to stick to it. It's sort of doing okay, but I can tell where I polished it. It's a little bit too slippery. Yeah, that's making it really shiny. Oh my gosh. Okay, 
So there is a point to having matte canvas. I'm going to go and just bring this down into that color right there. Okay. I'm going to send that off into space right there. Okay, good, good, good. Awesome. Now, let's get a little bit of this uh, white and blue. White and blue, white and blue, white and blue. And I'm going to, I want to just put in a little bit of that over here, there. So I'm, I'm giving this, and I'm not going to add too much juice to it so it doesn't shine so much. And I may need a little bit of a, I don't want to get too colorful because it's nighttime. But I kind of like that. See that light right there? I'm going to really charge that up with some bright white with yellow right there. And then let's get this a little bit more. Let's go with a little more, a little more of our medium there, like that. Snow in the daytime is uh, like a purple and yellow and, and turquoise. Use a lot of that. This is the Fog Lifter Cafe. I love that. Okay, wait, I'm going to put in a little bit of, what is that other color? Hold on. We need some purple. Can't go a day without purple. No way. But you can see that even that, just that teal with the snow really gives it a, a wonderful um, feeling. I'm going to drop something. There we go. One color that we don't have in a snow painting is green. We don't want green. You, even if you have a tree, don't put green in it. All right. Because we just don't see that color at night. We just don't. All right. Now here's our little bit of our, our purple. I'm going to set that down. This is a pink and teal. Pink and teal, not too much color. Let's put that right here. Yeah. Okay, so it's a little bit purpley. I like that. And then I'm going to put that over here too. I've got little dots of light on here that makes it kind of fun. This one's in a little bit in the shadow. And this is going to have, I'll put a little bit of that up here. Oh, look at that purple. Oh, man. And maybe just a little bit more white on there. I had a lot of fun with this. I'm really excited. We're doing this show uh, for Winter Carnival. Do you know this weekend it was supposed to be Winter Carnival? Um, normally it's at this the last weekend in January and the first weekend in February. Well, they changed it, you know, and decided to make it um, on one weekend, which is the... 23rd of February and it's a good thing because we barely have any snow it has been above freezing the lake has now thawed you can usually walk all the way across it by now and the lake has thawed talk about global warming boy are we experiencing that right now now see how I've got that that purple the purple is made with uh, primary red magenta and teal okay and that makes that beautiful purple, purple um, snow. I'm going to put that down here. There's a little bit of snow here. I'm going to put that also onto my street. And then I will add some other colors to it because I'm going to put some light yellow onto it. But this is going to be our dark is that that teal with a little bit of purple. A little bit of this, that and the other thing there. And let's put that on here. So I need something a little bit dark so that my light will show up. That's what I'm doing. Sure appreciate you guys watching. I really, really do. We did so well uh, on our last uh, painting of this. It was really fun. Uh, I don't know. We had 200 and some odd um, views. And that was really, really neat. Okay. So now we're going to go with, uh, let's see. Um, this building is a green. Actually, I said I'm not going to do green. 
but we're going to make it really muted. I forgot. It is a green building. That's funny. So I'm going to take my orange with my blue, and I'm going to make a very transparent, kind of a really dark green. So not too much dark green. I've got a little dark green right here, just kind of you can take your time with that. I'm going to go like this across here, a little bit of dark green. This is a dark green building as well. You get a choice. You get to have your buildings in green or um, kind of a dark forest red. That's the colors of the buildings around town. And then I've got these lights that kind of come up. Those are pretty cool. The lights. We, we keep the Christmas lights on through Winter Carnival. And now it's going to be in the middle of February before we do anything like that. So there's our green building. Now I'm going to take my rag and I'm going to wipe that off like that so I can find my underpainting under there. Got that like that. And I will take more time to make this look right when you're not looking. I've got this part is also going to be in this green color. After I said we don't do green, I'm talking about trees, you guys. You're not going to see too much green. You're going to see uh, muted, muted green. There we go. Fog lifter cafe. And now I'm looking, I'm listening, I'm hearing my husband turning something on. I have no idea if he's not aware that I am filming. Okay, so there we go. Now. I've got the bluish snow and I've got the uh, I've got that lavender snow and now I'm going to come in with my other brush with a lot of white and a little bit of yellow or that orange color really really warm and then I'm going to say well where is this shining I'm going to say here's our our lamp there really nice put that right there and put a little bit there, little tiny lamps like that. Yeah, that looks good. And then we'll start punching up the snow, punching up the snow like this, like that. There's tracks, car tracks on here which we don't normally see too many because it, it normally the, the, the snow is really, really deep. But right now it's just not. That's okay. You, okay, you can paint it deep, doesn't matter if it really is or not. There's that. Okay, there's our nice and glowy thing here. This is actually a little tiny place to pull your car in. I don't even know how how you could do it, but it's uh, it's right there. Okay, so now I'm going to take some of that light, light color and I'm going to put that right here and make it feel as though there's some lights shooting some, some uh, glowy color there and I'm going to do that and make, make this clock just a little bit brighter in the long run. Yeah. It's kind of a lavenderish, almost lavender yellow combination like that. Makes it really look like it's glowing. And then I'm going to put just a tiny bit on the roof line right there. I have to get some more white. And then I, I begin putting it on just a little thicker where I want that white to stand out. I can really shovel it on with a bunch of, uh, with a, um, a palette knife if I want. Now over here I've got this purpley color right here. Now I need to come in with <laughs> I need to come in with a little more white. I'm finding that this particular paint, this is Lucas uh, paint, which is made with um, I think it's got linseed or safflower. I'm not sure what the thing is, but it's made with beeswax as well. So it makes it really nice for uh, the thicker application of paint and it dries faster than a lot of other paints do. So that's what I'm, I'm going to grab right here. Okay, now let's put a little brighter 
yellow will make it brighter uh, than just straight white. Okay. So don't forget that uh, that little thing. If it's not, if if it's just straight white, it just doesn't have any any color at all. So you want to think about that. So I've got this yellowish white, and I'm going to throw that right up on the roof line right here, like that, and like that, and like that, and like that. And let's put a little bit of snow on there, right there, right there, right there, like that. Okay, good. And this is just super loose. I don't, I may tighten it up later, or I might not. I might just leave it nice and loose like that. Okay, good. And then I'll put some across that step over here. There's a couple of steps going up here like that. And I'll do some more things with that in the long run. But right now I'm not going to worry about that. I'll put a little bit of a light snow on the top. And we'll make this feel as though it's kind of shining out onto that roof. Uh, I put that darker blue color on there so that that would show up. Okay, otherwise it's not going to show up. Can you see that? Pull that over just a little bit there. Yeah, like that. If it's if I painted this the roof all that light yellow color, well, you wouldn't be able to see me put on a stroke of paint on there. There it has a little bit of blue in my brush. I like that a lot. Super loose. I love it. Purple, teal, a little tiny bit of yellow. You put too much teal and yellow, then you end up with green. You got to be careful with that. Don't get too carried away with it. This is going to be a little rock, uh, a little rock wall here, a little rock wall here. And so I might even use a little bit of, well, I don't want to get too, too colorful. Oh, I just gave myself a peach color, but um, I'm going to just kind of glaze over the top of that so I am reminded that that's a rock wall. Don't want too much color. Ooh. Okay. Back up the train. I'm going to wipe off my brush and I'm going to put in some dark teal into the room like this. There. A little dark over that that dark glaze of gray like this and like that and like that a little bit of that kind of nighttime feel and i might put a little bit of that uh wonderful um, orange color inside so that it feels as though there is some something going on in there so it's not just dark and scary oops okay be careful a little bit of dark in the window with my teal like that i'm going to go dark 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 and uh, i can just kind of glaze a uh, dark bluish color wherever the windows are and that makes it really really fun okay next thing is going to be let's see if i can find my little brush well let's see okay I left it on the table all right so now i'm going to take the end of my paintbrush, the bottom of my paintbrush, and I'm going to take my white and I'm going to take a, a lot of white and a little tiny bit of that that uh, transparent orange, and then I'm going to take that and I'm going to put that on on those white spots a little bit and glow them, make them glow just a little bit more. And then on top of that, let's see if I have my other little brush. Yeah. And this is some of that yellow. And put a little bit of yellow glow right there. So it feels like there's a, a kind of a nice glowy table. Let's make it even darker because it's inside. Got a little orange chair in there. 
and then I'll add some white to it. Just a little bit. I'm just kind of, you can make a whole scene in there if you want, you know, you can make a tiny, like people having dinner, put a little candle in there. That would be really cool too. There, move that. You can get all fussy with it. But the key on this one, you guys, we're not going to get into it too much, but the key is going to be the thought of that, the color of the light. It's not about what color the building is. It's about what color you want the light. Do you want it a cool light? Do you want it a warm light? And then you can add with the other, the back of your paintbrush again, this little tiny end. You can come in with the white paint and put in some stars. And I don't know if you can see that, but you can just put in, you know, you can put in the, the dipper, you can put in all kinds of different things like that, different sizes of stars. Put that over there. Can you see those? Probably not, but you should be able to when you, when this painting goes on the wall, you'll definitely be able to see these beautiful stars. You can spatter them, you know, flick them on, or you can, I think I just painted Mars on there. That's fun. Um, you can put them up like this. Okay. Little bits of stars. I might be getting a little carried away, but you know, up here in the mountains, there are a lot of stars because we don't have a lot of city lights. We've got a lake over here, there, so there's nothing. Uh, nothing glowing over there. It's just in the middle of town. Is it glowing like this? Okay, so that's just kind of fun. And then I can put some little plants and different things too if I want. But uh, you get the idea. Okay, now uh, I'll probably show this to you again next week, hopefully, uh, when I um, pull it together. And, uh, and then don't forget on uh, let's see, on Saturday of this week, the very first Saturday of every month, we have a show at the Gallery 55 in McCall. So you go down this street right here, and then you go around the corner, and the gallery is right, right over here. And you can find your way just by looking at this painting down the street, around the corner, and right on the lake side is Gallery 55, right on the lake. You can look out the window at the gallery, and sometimes you can see the lake. Yes, depending on if it's foggy or iced over or nighttime. Anyway, I uh, hope you enjoyed this one, and I will see you again next time we meet, which should be Thursday uh, at 7 o'clock uh, Pacific time, provided I remember to hit the button. Yeah, won't that be nice? Love you guys. Talk to you again soon. Get your paints out and tell me what you've been painting in the comments. All right. See you next time. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.